when Prophet Joshua Iginla said President Hakainde would be president, you said something else, and guess what? He's the president of Zambia. Whether you like it or not, it was in his destiny to be president. So now you've confessed. You've gone to Prophet Joshua Iginla. You were crying. Cry, cry like a baby. Cry, please forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, please, oh, I beg, go. Oh, I want to be a son. My ministry has broken in pieces. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You know, some of these, maybe it's the ones from Zambia that you can talk about. The ones from Nigeria, they are not small boys that you can just come on Facebook and pep, 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 and talk. You see how the prophecy went against you. You see your life. When we were, talk, we were talking, supporting UPND, we looked like fools. We were supporting UPND because we saw it. Just like Prophet Abraham from... Uh, um, from America. He was busy. HH will be the president. People were insulting him. People were insulting him. These prophets were eating envelopes. With, they are the reason why Zambia was in that predicament. And Akainde HLM has even try, is trying to redeem this economy that was in tatters. The brown envelope pastors that CR1 would talk about. That would always come and give prophecy to suit. Me, I'm one person. I've said it before. I will never like President Edega Chagwaluga. Never. That man made me weep. Zambians suffered under his reign. And even this Joshua Igina, he had said it. That you are surrounded by too many hypocrites. The man would never listen. A person who doesn't listen is not fit to be a leader. Do you know why President Hakainde Chilema is trying? He listens. When you post on Facebook, he's watching. When I come on Facebook, I'm doing videos and I'm talking about things. I know what I'm talking because President HH, he uses social media to check on what's happening. You understand? You also betrayed CR1. I don't know what you were doing with CR1. How many people are you going to be mocking? CR1, you were once submitting to CR1. Now you are submitting to, I mean, even that's why the man even said, your wife is a very good woman. You always want to put yourself in a situation where you think you and then you, he promised me he even said if you want to fight with me blah 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 am i fighting with anyone when i did a video and i was talking about let's pray for your moms when i did another video i said let's pray for the artists because this man is saying artists the man from from zimbabwe and then the man said, if you want to start a fight with me, why should a prophet use a carnality to fight another person? You understand? Some of us, in the background, there are so many things that we do. It is very difficult for you to put me down. Trust me. Because I know the God I serve. And I thank God that I am alive to even witness this confession and i hope you will change from this you are a young person who is talented but a man of god even involving themselves in politics whereby you are making yourself look like you because you are eating the zambians look like fools most of you pastors in Zambia. You're the reason why even the religious uh, uh, was even banned. Today we have so many human rights happening in Zambia. Whose fault? When all you did was think about your stomach and how President Edgar Chagwalungu was buying land cruisers for you selfish people that never cared about the Zambians. And I like it that when the prophecies of the fake prophets doesn't come to pass and they are put to shame. They are put to shame. There's another guy from Nigeria. Yay, Edgar Changalugo, you'll be present. Who are you to talk about Zambia? When you, you should be talking about your old president there. That man who would always talk, Amata, he would always be talking about this and that. Hey, he's, God has ordained, has ordained ECL. 
President Kachagolungo's family is suffering in Zambia. You think he will look after you? He never looked after his family. That's why even his family were shocked that you appointed him as president. You appointed him as president out of pity. I thank God I never voted. You guys were there celebrating. The only Moses we had was Michael Sata. That was the Moses of Zambia. That guy had plans. That's why it was easy to eliminate him. Good people never, never last. You understand? These so-called prophets that come because somebody has given them an, an envelope. You want to deceive the Zambian people. What would Joshua Iginla want from any president that he doesn't have? The guy flies in private jets. The guy is rich. So when he was saying that, he was saying, this is a message for Zambia. You, small papa, with a hired car, you want to fight someone who flees. <laughs> Before you even fight anyone, you are, you are even lucky you are alive. Nigerian prophets, you don't, yee. <laughs> people you don't know this should be your last time you're watching me I know last time you should ever fight any man of God whether Zambia wherever stay in your lane stay in your lane Isaac has prophesied leave him that's his prophecy pray about it this other man has prophesied, Dr. Paul Joshua. Leave him. Don't come and start fighting people. You don't know the grace they carry. Hey. Thank God you have confessed. Now the confession we should have heard is you were paid to prophesy lies. That's what we needed to hear. You were paid. God never talked to you about you. Edgar Chagalungu being president. Which God? God is not an author of confusion. That man never cared when there was blood in Zambia. That man never cared if a civil servant never got paid for six months. That man never cared if school children were sitting on the floor. That man never cared if children had no books in schools and desks. He never gave a dare. All he cared about is having a girlfriend in State Lodge. Or is it second wife? Where he fathered another baby boy. I know about it. Because his family is close to me. His family was suffering. One of them is even in England. How can you neglect your own family? You only attend funerals. And that's the person you were, you were there. Busy campaigning for. He should be president. He should, God has told me. Which God? Stop accusing God. God can never tell you to put a rubbish a type of hurt people to be look at Imwe. if PF had come back in power to to another man she look at the way the, the state bus stops I'm in Zambia I can walk freely on bus stops we are no peace Zambia is there is a certain aroma of peace happening in Zambia certain aroma of peace which we never experienced when he, 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 President Lungu was present. Yes, we can talk about this and that with President H. Those are part of checks and balances. And when we talk about them, he works on them. That's a good part with Akain H. Lema. He works on them. President Lungu was mute. He acted deaf and dumb. And you were there causing the more pain for the Zambians. You should also apologize to every Zambian for deceiving them. Zambians were staying in Chinese camps, not being paid. Not being paid. Where were you? You are busy receiving brown envelopes from, 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 from ECL's team. As they embezzled funds from, from the government, from the state, Zambians were suffering. And I thank God you've been exposed. Don't joke with grace. Next time, 2026, we don't want to hear any prophecy from you, Prophet Ian Genesis, telling you. 
We don't want to hear any prophecy from you about any president. Keep quiet. Let men of God that prophesy, prophesy. The ones that were, were seeing the clear picture of what the Zambian people, their heart, wanted. Not what you wanted because you were eating. Zambians suffered. That's why I even started vlogging, doing videos. I started campaigning to send the right message about how we need to kick off the patriotic front. Today, I see that man, uh, uh, Mr. Given Vina, they are singing for him uh, happy birthday in the prison and they are feeling mercy. Mercy for a wicked man like that one. For what? That man was wicked. That man is more than a dictator. If you dare even bring back given women that you will die, Zambians. A man is wicked. He deserves no mercy. Sometimes when I say, oh, President Lungo, this and this, I just feel sorry for him a bit. A bit. That man too doesn't deserve any mercy. Poor man Nusambo. Who didn't he bully? And all the pastors were quiet. And you want to prophesy, God has told me, uh, Israel is a chosen. Chosen where? Chosen where? So that the Zambia should continue suffering. Yes, things can be high now. Prices can be high. Life can be difficult now. But guys, let's look at where we are coming from. Unless you want to go back to where given women there was a bully. Look at Kampiongo. The idiot would even say, I will crush your bones. Those guys were untouchable. Very untouchable. And you had the guts to even support these idiots. And this is what I'm telling you. Uh, this party, PF, is dead, deader, deadest. 2026, President H.H. H. will win. There is no reasonable person that can take over. Maybe 2031, the youths, you can take over. But for now, I was disappointed the other day. Bahari Kala was making some statement about H.H. H. I said, what is this? Opposition. They are just a bunch of clowns. Opposition should be there to give proper checks and balances. Not talking about this and that. Just to match out these statements. Uh, blah and blah. Until 2031, you'll be talking. You'll continue talking. So what did I want to tell you guys? Be careful with these same prophets who are telling you uh, prophecy. Hey, 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 this, 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 this. I don't like it when people want to pretend about how the God is using them. Now your ministry has fallen to the rocks. One joke. No, Joshua Igina is. Hey. <laughs> guys. You understand? What am I trying to say? People have grace and they are called of God. We thank God that Ian Genesis has confessed that he's a new creation. But the way we know him, he will come back with another prophecy attacking someone somewhere. I hope he has really changed. And for his own good, because Zambians were very angry. And we had people singing And the Zambians rose and they did a very peaceful protest. We won the battle. So now, 2021, 2022, 2023, no more brown envelopes from BF. Straight to Papa. Papa help me, oh, my ministry. My ministry is falling. That's why it's about prophecies. You don't know who will help you. Most of you guys who watch me when I do videos, I always say this. Guys, be careful how you speak by my social media. Pa. To come to your church will be by grace. 
I'm telling you to be by grace. Because you can imagine, you say, God has told you that President Aituka Chagalungu, a, a, a very wicked man. God can never allow Zambians to be under that ruling of patriotic front ever again. That party is finished. And President Hakaina Ishlema, this is my appeal to you. If there's a person you should fire, fire them. If there are people who are disturbing your, your cabinet, they are lazy, just fire them. Don't be like President Chagolungu was busy, closed, closed uh, ears. And you just, <laughs> my countrymen and women. Look at that guy who was doing the comedy for President Lungu. See how people used to be angry with him all the time. But he does it for fun. But people would be saying they are irritated because this person, he neglected them. May the soul of President Michael choose us at a rest in peace. That man's vision of the patriotic front died with him. And that's why even as presidents and leaders, when you're appointing people, make sure these are people who buy into your vision. And my appeal as well to the president is that he could see at which leaders are honest and true. Maybe we can bring back the religious affairs and uh, have prayers for the nation of Zambia. It's important that as a nation we always pray. Um, you know, but we thank God that many of you Zambians are alive to witness that in fact, President H.H. is a very good man. He's a very good man. You know why I'm saying that? If this man was like President Lungu, hey, what did President Lungu say? When I become, when I swear myself in, H.H. will die in prison. Look at another idiot called Antonio Mwanza that would come and say, he, he wrote in prison. Why, yo? Do you know God? <laughs> Do you know God? And, ah, and, eh, God has shamed you. <laughs> when Jesus says, yes, nobody can say no. Those prophets with brown and, and they used to irritate me, those pastors. They would be seated at the front doing the prayers. They are seated. Namapeya. Hallelujah. <laughs> Indeed. Another person who made a very big mistake to join politics was Kings. By now, he would be dining with President Haka in the HLM. Land Cruiser confused him. The black one that president gave him, Lungu, he got confused. They brought him closer to the politics. If he was just neutral, he would have been like Ephraim. Ephraim goes to all the functions. Have you seen Ephraim dancing here saying, Nima nani, Nima nani, hey, this also, so, he will never be present. He's a satanist. Hey, 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 hey. Eh? Eh? Those of you who say uh, Christian nation. Christian nation, but you have Mwaleka Tabanenu Bulosh. How come God has allowed uh, President H.H. to be president after your prophecies and your, your prayers? Whether you like it or not, Tawa Kapite, 